Hey y'all, so it's time for me to make another batch of my DIY body butter. So I have some water boiling and now I'm going to use a large bowl because I learned my lesson from the first two or three times. And I'm going to start off with some unrefined shea butter and it's just basically 100% shea butter. It comes very uh, solid and the room temperature temperature so that's the form it's going to be in so i'm just going to put in a bowl and let that melt down a little bit first and then i'm going to add in the unrefi unrefined cocoa butter which is a little harder um and it looks like it's a little less than the shea butter the shea butter is usually the one that takes up the most um the one that has the most ingredients in this recipe. So I'm just going to let them melt down a little bit together. Um, so shea butter definitely keeps my skin nice and moisturized and shiny in the summertime. And then cocoa butter helps with the dark marks and uh, just evening out my skin tone. So I don't have to let it melt down all the way because I want to whip it now. Um, so I'm just going to pour those two into the whipping bowl and now I'm going to add in organic rotip seed oil which helps lighten dark marks. So the goal is to basically lighten dark marks and dark areas and yeah so I'm just going to pour that in now. At the end um, my butter did harden up during um, like the colder temperatures. So I would say add in a second bottle of rosehip seed oil so that this mixture can stay whipped after cooling down. So next time I will definitely be adding in two bottles of the rosehip seed oil or maybe even two and a half. So I did have to let the mixture sit for quite some time because it was not whipping yet. It was still very liquidy um, and that's because it was still very warm for me warming it up over the pot. Um, so yeah, so I just had to let it cool down and just be patient. So now it finally cooled down so I came back downstairs after like an hour and I just started whipping it up again and it started to get into this whip state this is very confusing because it'll do this when you physically whip it but when you put it in a jar and let it sit it'll <clears throat> it'll solidify <laughs> so it's just weird to me science is interesting and weird but yeah it's okay <laughs> um so yeah so i'm just gonna get off all the remnants from the mix mixing pieces i guess and i'm just gonna put them both into jars this jar is for my mom i usually give her half of the batch so this is her half and um she had a little bit left over from last time so that's what's on the bottom there and i didn't really um, melt down what she had because she didn't really care it's all gonna be used together anyway it's the same ingredients um, so yeah so I'm just gonna fill hers up and again like I said it's weird how it's whipped and creamy from physically whipping it but once it sits and cools down it hardens up again so in the next DIY butter video I will be using way more rosehip seed oil to see if we can get it to stay in its whip state because I did it for the hair butter if you haven't seen that yet the DIY hair butter I did make that whipped and it actually stays whipped at room temperature so stay tuned for that one for the updated body butter video and now this is my container and yeah so Everything I use is linked in the description below. Thumbs up this video if it was helpful for you guys. Check out more like this on my channel. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.